Good morning people. Well, the day has come, it's the 10th of August 2019. It's 4.30 in the morning and the day has come to pick Colin's new BMW up. So, I'm just going to take my little puppy out. And when I come back, I'm going to get ready and go and get the rat bag, Mr. Go. Okay, see you later, people. Hello again. Just um, driving up to um, Colin's house to pick Colin up and also to pick my bike up. Uh, Jack's kindly say hi, Jack. <laughs> That's Jack, my son. He's also um, volunteered me, to, volunteered to take me up to have to run my car because I've got me panniers in the back there, what have you. So, stay tuned again. Won't be long now. We're just on the 8.59, riding across, heading over towards Skipton. First stop, Ripon, over in North Yorkshire. Colin's on his new bike, um, just picked his URT up, he's sitting behind me there, you can maybe just see him in the mirror. The weather looks terrible, but our spirits are not dampened. Is that right, dude? Colin is just there uh, using some expletives. Go on, dude. Let's let everyone see your bike. Go on, get past. There he is. Looks all spanking new. Spanking new bike. New helmet, new boots, new gloves, new trousers, new jackets. All he needs now is a new personality, he'll be like a great man! Look, look at that. We're uh, just, uh, just approaching up to Skipton now. The weather is threatening to flash down, but it seems not too bad. The sky's looking like, oh it stinks of poo. Tell it in the countryside, I love it. Um, yeah, so the skies look very threatening, but the roads are quite dry, a little bit of spitting. That's it, okay. You're doing about 30 miles. Going on to the moors now. It looks bloody beautiful, even in this shit weather. What do you think, Colin? Aye, aye. Look at that bloody road. It's bloody champion. Aye. This is the A61 heading up towards Ripon. Three miles to go to Ripon. Colin's uh, complaining he's got a bit of a sore bum because he hasn't been riding for two years. So his bum's a little bit out of condition for riding. But it'll be fine. You'll be fine by tomorrow when we've done 600 miles. How many miles have we done now, dude? 63 miles we've done. And bum sore. Poor lad. Never mind. Well, we're on our way to sunny Scotland. Um, and we are just up by Corbridge. Turn right on the A68 to head to Ancrum in Scotland, where we will be turning round after a, a hot beverage and going to head towards Carlisle. Now, I have just put on, as you can see, very, very bright uh, Oxford Rain Seal waterproof over jacket, and it has just taken every bit of wind out of the weather. It feels superb. And it said it's a hundred percent waterproof, so time will tell. Well, welcome to our first two in the breakfast room in Colin. It's quite nice in here, it's quite nice, yeah. And uh, Michael Keaton has a lovely club. And Sam Twale is a bar. 
Yeah. Here we are, day two of our weekend adventure. Just leaving the Wayrig Hall Hotel, which was very nice, in Wayrig in Cumbria. We're off now to the Lake District, getting another 250 miles in before we head home mid afternoon. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it is extremely wet, very wet. The heavens have opened and great, just great. The bikes are going great. The wind protection and rain protection is great. I'm still enjoying it, I'm still loving every mile. Over there in the distance is Sellafield nuclear power plant or reactor cleaning process place, wherever it is. These roads are just unbelievable. Lovely, bendy, sweepy roads up and down hills. <laughs> Views aren't too bad either, are they? Stop for a moment while Colin messes around. Was he getting his camera going? There he is. There. See. Yeah. No, it's not. It's fine now. That's exactly as my head is. No, I'm not. of a fucking chin like Jimmy Hill. You fucking big... Is your engine overheating there already? Or is that mine? Right. Let me get back on my machine. Is wet, wearing my sheets wet. It's a tough. I'm only pulling forward because I've got to put my tether on. It's alright, I'm just going to stop and put my tether on. This is um, Lake Coniston, or Coniston Water, if you want to call it. You can see it's still lashing down. But our spirits are not yet dampened. I don't know if you can see this, but we're in the North Lakes again, coming up to, uh, on the 866, heading towards Penrith. Um, we're waiting to take a right turn, uh, take us down to Oldswater, then we'll go over the Kirkstone Pass. But the heavens have most definitely opened again, and it's persistently raining, lashing down. But, never mind. Just riding along next to Old's Water. Now, still raining. It's quarter past one. We've done 121 miles around the Lake District. We've 
still got 130 to go. Oh, it's still good, it's still good. It's all water there. It's where we scat my father's ashes. When he passed away, obviously. Riding into Glen Ridding now. Just um, need the camera running for a mile or two. Fantastic views. Breathtaking views, really. Even in the wet, these roads are fantastic. Glen Ridding! I'm just going to stop up here at St Patrick's, stretch our legs for five minutes and then have a quick cold drink and then crack on till we get to a fuel station and then head home. The last leg of like quite a big ride over two days in this weather. Here's the Glen Ridding Hotel that was famously washed out a few years ago in the floods. Here we go. St. Patrick's. Easy does it now, easy does it. <laughs> 